What's up YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. This is Thursday. It's March 29th, 2018, and today we're going to be doing a Crash of the Titans reset video. I apologize for last cycle um, tremendously. I just uh, had some issues with my uh, video editing software on my phone. Um, the video file got corrupted and there was literally just nothing to post. So, um, in fact, there's something going on with my camera. Um, it works, uh, like taking pictures and things. Um, but um, if I hold my camera straight forward, um, this is the view that you get. And um, it's like over my shoulder. But if I'm taking like a selfie, it works normal. So I have to hold it at this kind of like awkward angle in order to get my face actually in the frame. So that's part of the technical issue and why I used a different program. That program failed um, halfway through and it just corrupted the whole thing. So um, I will no longer be using uh, the recorder. Thank you very much. Um, but that all being said and um, aside, um, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back as always. If you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It does help us grow this channel for Marvel Puzzle Quest on YouTube and uh, helps reach other questers just like yourself. As you can see by this screen here, I am logging in for the very first time this morning um, and getting my regular VIP and daily rewards here. All right, so um, there is a sale going on. I mentioned that in my previous video. If you haven't uh, been to get anything, oh, I actually got some rewards. Very good. Um, thanks, Phil. All right, so in the sale in the store, they actually have sales on ISO and on Hero Points at this point. Ends in uh, the Hero Point sale ends today or tomorrow, I should say, within 24 hours from the time that I'm making this video, and then 10 days left on the uh, ISO sale if you need to pick up some of that. All right, so we are here for Deadpool's Daily, and uh, this event resets every five days. Uh, the Crash of the Titans resets every five days. Deadpool's resets every day. Um, there's a chance at two command points every day with the Behemoth Burrito with the required three-man team. This is Gwynpool Hood and two-star Wolverine. Um, and we are here for this extreme node, which is the Human Torch symbol, so we know that he's going to be the required opponent. Um, down at level 222 instead of the normal 270 as a 3 star. Um, his abilities are red, black, and green. We'll get to those. Uh, rewards for completing this are 22,000 uh, progression points for Deadpool's Daily Quest, which gives you all the progression rewards but not the node specific rewards. And then in the bottom right hand corner, flashing is the latest Legends Recruit token, so that's what we're really after after that one. All right, so the required uh, champion for Crash the Titans is Medusa. This is going to be a no-brainer fight. Medusa's amazing. Um, she's one of my first few champions, I think number three or four overall. Um, really great character, um, really awesome benefits. So her colors are red, yellow, and purple. Um, we'll get to those. <clears throat> okay, so she's at uh, level 284 as a champion. She's got... Um, Almost 15,000 health, but not quite. Uh, Resolute Queen uh, is going to, uh, whenever special tiles are matched, has different effects for friendly or, or enemy tiles. Uh, if it's a friendly tile, it's going to gain health. If it's an enemy tile, it's going to gain AP in purple, blue, or green. Entanglement's a passive ability, puts a countdown tile. Um, if it's matched, it creates two strike tiles. Tiles uh, damage increases up with... Uh, and uh, I'll count down up to four turns at level five, which I'm going to change that here in a second. Um, hair metal wriggles its way through enemy defenses, uh, causing chaos and destruction. Any swapped enemy strike, protect, or attack tiles improves them by 461. Um, so I actually want entanglement up, and I think I'm going to drop uh, yellow down just for the sake of this, because. It's passive, um, it's a little burst of health, there's not much uh, enemy tiles that are going to be on the board unless he gets his black going, um, so <clears throat> uh, we're going to just deny black. 
So, Human Torch at 222 has um, not quite 11,000 health, so much less than us. His uh, red ability Fireball for 8 AP does uh, 2650 damage, destroys two red tiles. Inferno, which is that black ability I mentioned, for 10 black AP, converts eight basic tiles in the, into attack tiles that deal 255 each turn, but depletes the team's blue, purple, and yellow. Uh, he's a It's a 1v1 fight. There are no teammates, so the AP reduction means nothing to him. Those are not his colors. And then Flame Jet for 5 AP cost creates a countdown tile, or a repeater tile, sorry. Um, deals 307 damage for every green AP in stock, um, up to a max of 2761 per turn, but it does cost a green AP each turn. Um, AI is usually really dumb and uses that ability uh, right off the bat as soon as they get, you know, 5 or 6 green AP. <clears throat> so, um, you know, there isn't much left after that. So let's go with purple because we're going to try to get some of that board swap action. Do this. I'm going to leave that match for blue, but I'm going to deny his match for black because blue is not one of his abilities that he has. And sorry if this camera keeps moving. It's a really weird angle to watch my phone to play and also to do this at the same time. <clears throat> And there goes that entanglement tile. So not only is it dealing passive damage each time it counts down, now it's creating these uh, countdown or these uh, attack tile 354 each turn on top of the countdown tile again. So we're gonna do that. And as you can see, passive damage alone is just gonna whittle him away. Every time he matches away a special tile, I get HP. couple more rounds and we should have a legendary token on our hands. So as you can see he only has one green AP, he used it right at six which is what I predicted. Um, saw that coming a million miles away. Alright, uh, let's do yellow. Ooh, nice critical but it's gonna get taken by him as a match four because it never makes the match five. Which is fine with me. Unless it's in a straight line, AI usually doesn't go for it. bit of damage there, destroying some red tiles. What to do? Alright, so now he's got enough uh, black to do his Inferno ability, <clears throat> but he doesn't get a chance. So that's that's it. That's the strategy. Just match tiles and do damage. Medusa's awesome. Alright, so there's our latest Legends Recruit token. We get all those sweet progression rewards, including a taco token at the end there. Some ISO. Thanks, guys, for playing Alliance Rocks. <clears throat> and in uh, what, three days here, we get another Legendary token, and in four days, another Kate Bishop. Very nice. Alright, so let's go to that uh, sweet Legendary store. Ooh, I got leftover tokens here. Let's pull those. Nothing good, nothing good, and two-star Wolverine. All right, um, so we have a latest Legends token. We have two of these, actually. Uh, I think one is from a, maybe a vault. I think that I get one out of the, one of the vaults. Um, anywho's chance at a bonus hero, one in 20 draw rate for that, for any four or five-star characters that you've selected. Um, your roster may be different from mine. Uh, one in seven chance for the last three five stars, which is Jessica Jones, Ghost Rider, and Archangel. And then the 12 most recent four stars have four times higher odds. All four stars are available, however. Okay, so we have two tokens. We'll draw them both kind of as a makeup for the last... Oh, you know what? I got that uh, legendary token from the last Crash of the Titans. No, I used that token because I got Jean Grey. Uh, yeah, it was from a vault. It was from a vault. Okay. So we got Luke Cage, who's a champion, very good, and we got Gwenpool. All right, so let's uh, come back over here. We'll do a classic just because. Oh, third time's the charm. That was, uh, yeah, very happy with. Ooh, back in black Spider-Man, shadowy acrobatics. I do need that cover uh, very much so. All right, so we're going to go here, and we are going to add a level to Luke Cage. 
he goes to 278, so I get those uh, command points. Sweet, uh, two command points back. Spider-Man, his purple ability goes to level two. Uh, enemy strike tiles add 55% less damage to a minimum of one, and while at least one enemy is stunned, Spider-Man is invisible. Um, if this was at level five, strike tiles would be completely negated at 100%, and then um, the same invisibility perk. So. He is a 1-2-2 two, two build, still working slowly on that, 5 out of 13 covers. And then Gwenpool, she's just going to have to hang on a second. So, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that I did not do last cycle again. Um, technical difficulties got in the way of that. And I'm considering getting a new phone at this point because this front-facing camera that does this is super annoying. So, um, But it's only when I'm recording in the game. If it's just a normal picture, it's fine. So... I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Um, but anyhow, um, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave me a comment. Uh, if you got an awesome reward, let me know down below in the comments. If you have a different strategy, um, I'd love to hear it. Um, not only me, uh, it's not only me reading the comments, other people on this channel, all, you know, almost 350 subscribers of you um, have, you know, access to this. So the information does help uh, many other people, not just myself, uh, to become better players and uh, better questers in this game. So um, thanks again for watching. Check out my Twitter at MrMPQ for more Marvel Puzzle Quest news and updates. Follow uh, and subscribe to my fellow Alliance mates and YouTubers for Marvel Puzzle Quest, John L. Media and Artem, uh, who's from Germany, and John L. is from California. And... Um, if you're on Twitch, you can um, check out Eddie, who goes by Kill Power, uh, a friend of ours, and he uh, Twitch streams daily with Marvel Puzzle Quest. So lots of great action there, um, tips and tricks and things of that nature. So uh, stay tuned for more videos and updates from me. Until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video.